Hi, Hugo Reed. I have another book this week that is about someone I bet you know. The title of it is Salt in His Shoes. And then look what it says here. Michael Jordan in Pursuit of a Dream. Bet you've heard of Michael Jordan, the basketball player. This is his story. It's by Dolores Jordan and Rosalind M. Jordan. So they're relatives of his. And it's illustrated by Kadir Nilsson. Let's see what it says. Some great photos or great illustrations in here. You see him shooting baskets down here as the sun's setting. Whoa, look at that one. Michael loved to play basketball. Every Saturday, he followed his older brothers, Larry and Ronnie, to the park, hoping they'd let him play. And if one of the guys who usually played with them didn't show, they always did. But there was one problem. His name was Mark, and he was the tallest boy on the court. What's the matter, Mikey? Too short? Mark flapped his arms in, Mikey's, in Michael's face. Over here, shouted Larry. But when Michael threw the ball, Mark's long arms came out of nowhere and knocked the ball away. It flew into the hands of the player on Mark's team. He made the basket and the game was over. Just like that. Have you ever played at a sport and there were other people better than you were and they're bigger than he is? It's kind of frustrating sometimes, isn't it? When he got when they got home, Michael went into the kitchen where Mama was cooking dinner. He was still disappointed, and she could tell. You guys lost again today, huh? Michael nodded. He sat quietly for a minute, and then he said, Mama, how can I grow taller? Now, Mama knew the answer to a lot of questions, but this was a tough one. She thought for a minute as she sprinkled salt and pepper on the chicken she was making for dinner. Then she smiled and looked at Michael. She said, salt. Salt? Michael looked at his mama. Salt in your shoes. We'll put salt in your shoes and say a prayer. Every night before you know it, you'll be taller, she replied. The title of the book, right, was Salt in His Shoes. Growing more excited, Michael twirled around and started asking lots of questions. Mama, how long will it take? How tall do you think I'll get? Smiling, Mama sat down next to him and explained, in order for this to work, the most important thing you have to do is be patient and listen to what I say, tell you and say your prayers every night. Listening carefully, Michael shook his head. Okay, Mama, I'll be patient. What does saying my prayers have to do with it? Everything, Mama replied, hugging and sh as she hugged him. Now go wash up and tell your brothers and sisters to get ready for dinner. Michael dashed out of the kitchen, almost knocking over his father, who was walking in. What's he up to now? asked Daddy. Oh, the usual, last laughed Mama, chasing a dream. That's a sweet picture, isn't it? Michael and his mama. Here's the family. Later, during dinner, Mama noticed that Michael was barely eating anything. He was already daydreaming about being taller. Michael, first things first. You won't grow if you don't eat, especially your vegetables. But I'm not really hungry, he said. Raising her eyebrows, Mama gave him a stern look. Slowly, Michael picked up his fork and began to eat. Minutes later, his plate was clean and he was asking for more. There he is getting ready for bed. That evening at bedtime, Michael set his favorite game shoes on the floor next to the growth chart hanging on the wall. Then he put on his pajamas and said his prayers and jumped into bed. You see his shoes over here and here's the growth chart by his wall. When Mama came in, Michael was fast asleep. 
By the look on his face, she could tell he was already playing basketball in his dreams. Standing by his bed, Mama sprinkled salt in his shoes. Then she prayed quietly over him as she did all her children. There's a brother sleeping in the top bunk, it looks like. Dear God, please help Michael to be the best he can be and give his best in all that he does. And Lord, could you please make him just a little bit taller tomorrow than he is today? Thank you. Amen. After that night, Michael wore his favorite game shoes everywhere he went, even to church. You see him here with his red shoes. He stopped going to the park with his brothers on Saturdays. Instead, he stayed home and practiced. He wanted to grow a few more inches before he went back to the park. After two months of practicing and patiently waiting and praying, Michael stood next to the growth chart on his wall. Nothing. He hadn't grown an inch. He was disappointed, but that he did not stop believing. I've just got to give it time, like Mama said, Michael thought to himself. And that's what he did. This is Mom and Dad looking at Michael. Two more months of practicing went by and still nothing. Now Michael was becoming a little sad. Not only had he not grown an inch, but he missed playing basketball with Larry and Ronnie. About the only thing he didn't miss was being picked on by Mark. When the next Saturday came, his brothers tried to get Michael to go with them to the park, but he wouldn't budge. Mama began to worry. When she saw Michael sitting alone on the steps, she said to Daddy, Maybe you should go out and talk to him. Dad's out there talking to him. So Daddy went out and sat with Michael. What's wrong, son? You haven't gone to the park with your brothers for a while now. Are you okay? Michael didn't say anything at first. Then he looked at Daddy and said, I thought I'd be at least a few inches taller by now. I did everything Mama told me and nothing's happened. Michael, why do you want to be taller? Daddy asked. If I were taller, I'd be a great player and I could help our team win, Michael answered. But you are a great player, son. You already have everything it takes to be a winner right here. Daddy tapped Michael on the chest. Being taller may help you play a little better, but not as much as practice, determination, and giving your best will. Those are all the things that make you a real winner. Michael thought about what Daddy said for a minute, and suddenly he jumped up and took off. Where are you going? Daddy yelled after him. I've got a game today and I'm late, Michael yelled back. Going to the park, isn't he? There he is. When Michael reached the park, the game had started. He sat on the bench, hoping he'd get a chance to play. And he did. The game was almost over when the score was tied. When John, one of the guys on Michael's team, fell and hurt himself. Here was Michael's chance. Michael joined his team in the huddle as they gathered on the sideline for a timeout. Okay, the game is tied. All we need is one point. Who wants to take the shot? Ronnie asked. He looked in Michael's direction. Feeling more confident than ever, Michael said, I'll do it. Do you think he's going to make it? Oh, look who's here. Do you remember Mark? He was bigger and taller than Michael. When the whistle blew and the game began, Mark began to pick on Michael as usual. Still trying to play with the big boys, huh? Mark taunted. But Michael paid him no attention. Taller or not, he'd been practicing, and today he was determined to win. 
Larry threw the ball in bounds to Michael. Michael caught it, bounced it, and for a moment bounced it for a moment, and then took off running. Bursting through the door, he shouted, I did it, Daddy, I did it. I shot right over the tall guy's head and we won the game. Running in behind him, Ronnie and Larry joined the celebration. That's right, little brother, you did it. You won the game for us. Michael remembered the look that Ronnie gave him during the last time out of the game and said, "Now, no, we won the game, but I was the star. They all laughed. After that day, Mama stopped putting salt in Michael's shoes, but Michael did not stop being patient and working hard and saying prayers. So that must be what made Michael grow to be a six foot six inch basketball superstar. Six foot six inches, really tall. And there he is. And that's the end salt in his shoes. I hope you like the book. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.